April 4, 1982. After several days of massive eruptions, Mexico's El Chicon volcano spews more than 500 metric tons of volcanic ash into the stratosphere. Approximately the same amount as Mount St. Helens two years earlier. Mount St. Helens produces no detectable cooling effect on the planet. But amazingly, El Chicon triggers a volcanic winter. How could two eruptions of the same size have such different effects on the weather? The secret weapon is invisible. What we see right here behind us, this gas, this is about as close as you would want to get unless you had a gas mask. These are fumes coming from the guts of the earth. Chemical, sulfuric gas, very, very dangerous stuff. Scientists are just beginning to discover the once secret role of sulfur dioxide gas. Those tiny sulfur particles essentially act like lots and lots of little mirrors. And when that sunlight comes into the Earth's upper atmosphere, those small mirrors reflect that sunlight back out into space, which prevents the sunlight from reaching the ground surface, which results in a cooling effect to all of us. Mount St. Helens put out one megaton of sulfur dioxide. El Chicon, 13 megatons. The reason for this difference, El Chicon's magma built up inside limestone, a rock that's loaded with sulfur dioxide. Mount St. Helens magma was housed in very hard igneous rock with virtually no gas. Sulfur dioxide seeps to the surface in hot springs around the world. Volcanologist Brandon Brown studies locations like Hot Creek in California. Well, what we're looking at here is a high concentration of volcanic gases. It has that particular smell of rotten eggs, indicative of high amounts of sulfur, hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide in the gas. Big eruptions can churn out massive amounts of gas. Humans burning fossil fuels release more than 20 million metric tons of sulfur dioxide each year. The 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption released that same amount in one day. The gas cloud circled the Earth in three weeks and remained in the atmosphere for more than one year, leading to a volcanic winter. But there are secret volcanoes far more massive than Pinatubo hiding on planet Earth with the power to destroy civilization. Guatemala's imposing Vulcan Fuego is a daily reminder that volcanic weather plays a big role in the long-term forecast for planet Earth. When this angry thing goes, there's an eruption. The first thing you do is you feel it in your chest. Then you hear it. These things remind us that we're very small. But there are much bigger volcanoes than the 1,200-story tall Fuego. And these secret beasts can't be seen on the surface of the Earth. We like to think that the Earth is solid underneath our feet. But we don't realize that they are hidden, sleeping supervolcanoes right underneath the crust of the United States of America, in California. In central California, a sleeping giant reveals small signs of its presence. We're looking at California's Long Valley Caldera, the site of one of the largest volcanic eruptions in North American history. The eruption ensued in such a way that so much magma was withdrawn from this eruption that the ground we see in front of us dropped down two miles, forming this giant depression. The catastrophic super eruption occurred 760,000 years ago, but we still see signs today of volcanic unrest. On the western rim of the caldera sits Mammoth Mountain, one of America's largest ski resorts. The ancient caldera's volcanic vents steadily pump
pump out sulfur dioxide and other gases above its popular slopes. In nearby Hot Creek, scalding hot sulfur springs are a smoking reminder of the volcanic superstorm that erupted more than a half million years ago. In these smaller pools off to the side where a lot of this new hot water is coming in, temperatures right here are 186 and they're as high as 200 degrees in the pool opposite the creek. So temperatures this high, these are certainly scalding conditions. Dozens of people have actually been killed uh, at Hot Creek because of these unpredictable explosions or geysering events that occur. The Long Valley Caldera eruption blew more than 150 cubic miles of molten rock into the atmosphere. 2,000 times the magnitude of the Mount St. Helens blast. But Long Valley is not America's biggest supervolcano threat. That beast slumbers beneath one of America's biggest national parks. The Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted three times in geologic history. The next eruption could produce a 100-year-long volcanic storm. Should Yellowstone caldera erupt again, we would have enormous quantities of ash and volcanic gas. Current estimates are on the order of billions of metric tons, which would circulate the globe, and that affects everything, from the plants we grow to the way we live. It's going to affect the whole Earth for decades and potentially hundreds of years. Residents of Hawaii's Big Island don't have to wait for a future supervolcano to change their weather. Their secret storm is a choking volcanic gas that has the potential to ruin the forecast in paradise. Having erupted more than 60 times since 1823, Kilauea on Hawaii's Big Island is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. It is a sulfur dioxide factory, pumping out some 2,000 tons of gas per day during frequent sustained eruptions, enough to fill 100 Goodyear blimps. This creates a secret weather hazard, a volcanic smog known to locals as VOG. VOG is a mixture of volcanic gases and smog, and it's just a local term that people in Hilo and the Big Island of Hawaii refer to as their own kind of unique volcanic air pollution. Sulfur dioxide mixes with water vapor in the atmosphere and little dust particles, and it acidifies the air that people breathe. So it causes irritations to their eyes and throat and nose when they're breathing. Sulfur dioxide in higher concentrations will actually bond with water to form sulfuric acid. You and I are carrying water in our lungs and on the surface of our eyes. So VOG is something we monitor for regularly here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. When Hawaii's trade winds slow or stall, health warnings force residents inside to escape the acidified air. Sometimes evacuations are ordered. Bog has been blamed for thousands of premature deaths on the Big Island. While volcanic weather can threaten life, it may also have been the driving force that created it. Astronomers believe that volcanic activity could be the missing link that explains why we breathe air and why we have water in our oceans. It turns out that outgassing from volcanoes creates carbon dioxide as well as water vapor. Water vapor then condensed to form our great oceans. And the air we breathe, much of it was primordial carbon dioxide coming from volcanoes that later changed to oxygen. So we have an irony here. On one hand, volcanoes in some sense are the giver of life the giver of the oceans, the giver of the atmosphere, the very air we breathe. However, 
Volcanic activity could also wipe out life on the planet Earth. With half a billion humans living within 25 miles of active volcanoes, it's wise to keep an eye on the secret threat of volcanic weather.